So today I'm going to show you an easy way to solve this very interesting lead code challenge number 125. So basically, I'm not going to read the description. You want to check if a word is a palindrome, and a word is a palindrome if it can be read the same way backwards and forward at the same time. So once you have two pointers, L and R, and then you start reducing the, the values, for instance, L starts from 0 and R starts from the length of the string, and they are going to be reducing by one and be comparing. Once you have uh, two characters that are not equal, then you return false. It's not that easy anyway, there's a catch. Now, in case of palindrome, we don't consider non-alphanumeric characters, all right? So if we use our methods and we have something like race, uh, comma, car, star, r, this, is a valid palindrome, but if we use this method, it's going to check for this uh, here and it's going to return false. So basically, we need to find a way to remove non alphanumeric characters like comma, star, and white spaces, and then um, also convert to the same case. So if you have race car, this should also be a valid palindrome. All right, so let's dive in to solve it. So we're going to be leveraging on two important functions. One of them is filter and one of them is alnum. It's called is alnum. So we have the first function is going to be filter and the second function is is alnum. Yeah, something like this. So how does it go? The first thing we want to do is to, is to filter. So I'm going to call filter and I'm going to specify the function I want to use to filter it. So it's going to be is alnums right and then i'm going to specify the string which is s and then this is going to actually be str dot that's a function from the string uh, library okay so we filtered it and we are going to join it up as well because this filter acts on individual characters of the string so it means that we are also going to join up the whole thing after filtering so the join uh yeah so this should be it and then we are going to convert to lower now let's just check how it looks like so i'm going to say s is equal to let's print it out and see what it looks like so let me say print s so let's see if it actually removed uh the the characters from there so let me kind of reduce this back okay so i'm going to run this code now and you can see that okay built-in lower object so i'm gonna have a parenthesis here like this okay so i'm going to run the code one more time and yeah so you can see this is exactly what we want to achieve okay so now we can now do uh, what we plan to do which is we need to initialize two pointers l is equal to zero and r is equal to line uh, len what? Len s uh, minus 1. And so I'm going to say while l uh, while l is greater than r while, while l is greater than while uh, um, l actually is less than r so if 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 for any reason, uh, the characters in these positions are not the same. So if um, the characters are not the same, so let's say if uh, uh, S for L is not equal to S for R, what do we do? We return false. Yeah, but if it doesn't terminate inside this loop, we are simply going to return true. So this basically is, I think it should work now. So let me run this code and let's see what we have. Okay, sorry. I think we need to actually uh, increment our pointers. So it's gonna run indefinitely. I think I'll just stop it from running. Uh, we are going to increment our pointers. Uh, for each iteration, I'm going to say L plus is equal to 1 and r plus is equal to r minus is equal to 1 okay 
All right, so I think this should be it. So we are going to be increasing the L and reducing the R. So I'm going to run this code now and I think it should work. All right, so it works and let's now submit the code and let's see. I'm going to shift this out here. Okay, it worked. Runtime 36 milliseconds faster than 96.71% of Python submissions. So I'd like to stop here and I'd like to thank you for viewing. Please remember to subscribe to my channel if this has been informative for you. And also if you have a particular challenge you would like me to crack, please let me know in the comment box below.